So you're thinking about moving to Augusta? Well, I'm here in the historic downtown and hopefully there's not too much background noise. You know, that's one of the problems with shooting in the wild is you can't control the environment. But I, on these tours, I always want to kind of give you a feel of the local area. But uh, here in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a, uh, around Augusta uh, to some different neighborhoods, different properties, look at some different homes and some different price points, really see if there is anything that you can fit within your budget. And then if you stick around to the end, I'll come back down here and do a market recap. So if you've got any interest whatsoever in living in Augusta or one of the surrounding areas, then you're going to want to stick around for that. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing the good and the bad of living in Augusta, Georgia, well then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the changing market here in Augusta. I'm Denny and the team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Augusta and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Augusta. Uh, I'm here in the downtown historic Augusta area. I'm on Broad Street. And so just kind of give you a perspective of uh, what this looks like. Let's see if I can not get hit by traffic. This is down the road that way and down that way. You know, it's one of the uh, most historic cities. We got some cars going by. One of the most historic cities in uh, Georgia. And uh, so what I love about Broad Street is just just lined with trees. Uh, just to give you a perspective, this is probably uh, two miles from the Augusta National where they play the golf tournament and uh, close proximity to the medical community. Augusta University is about two or three miles away and then it's bordered by uh, Evans, uh, Mar or Martin Ezreli, a little bit of Evans, Grove Town, uh, and Augusta is in Richmond County, so uh, right across the border. It's also bordered by the Savannah River and right across is North Augusta and on into South Carolina. So uh, that kind of gives you a lay of the land. In this downtown area, you know, it's really going through a revitalization. You see families like this one getting their kids out of the car to walk around. Uh, you know, there's a lot of economic and ethnic diversity as long as uh, as well as age and uh, socioeconomic status so it's really uh, a diverse area um, most people i don't think there's been a lot of people that lived down here in augusta in the last you know 50 years or more uh, but it's really going through a revitalization so people are actually moving back down here into the downtown area uh, so the residential vibe is growing but it's also because like right here there's a farm burger and a vine wine uh, the pizza joint right across the street is metro coffee uh, right next to it is a uh, whiskey bar and so there's bars restaurants boutiques there's residential retail commercial kind of uh churches schools uh the, the public schools aren't going to be amazing down here there's lots of private school options like in the downtown area uh, so depending on why you're here and, and what you want to live close to like for work or or whatnot uh, then you might want to look at some of our suburb vlogs but that's really uh, a, a you know just a quick summary of what's going on here in downtown Augusta. Uh, let's take you on that tour and then I'll come back and I'll do like that more comprehensive market recap. So let's check out your first property. All right, we're here at the first home on your tour of Augusta and I'm in a neighborhood called Hillwood. And man, it's a pretty neighborhood. You can tell that they really, really, really uh, take a lot of pride in their home ownership. Uh, the lawn's well manicured. This property was built in 1966. It's been fully renovated inside with vanities and tile in the um, bathrooms, with granite cabinets in the kitchen, with paint, hardwood floors. Uh, but again, built in 1966, it's 2,187 square feet, and it's offered at $330,000, which puts it at right at 151 a foot, uh, which uh, in Augusta, the average is about $111 a foot, but that extra $40 a foot, which translates into about $88,000, uh, is really in value is really from the renovation because uh, you can find a home like this in the same area for you know for about fifty to eighty thousand dollars less but it's not going to be nearly as in good shape so if you're in that 200 you know mid 200 you're going to be looking at a fixer upper uh, but in the the low threes you're going to find a really nice home uh, i'm in a neighborhood called hillwood and as you can see all these homes have been really well taken care of and looks like uh, they really care about their properties and that's really going to bode well for your uh, property value over time as if your neighbors in your neighborhood take care of their property too. Hillwood's in a great location. It's in West Augusta so it's about 
three miles from the Augusta National, which is the um, golf course where they play the Masters every year, world-renowned golf tournament. And uh, it's about, so it's about three miles from that. It's about five miles from downtown Augusta. And this is right off of Wheeler Road. So uh, you're only uh, about two miles from I-20, which is the interstate that runs through Augusta. So really great location and a really great uh, property here in a really nice neighborhood and uh, definitely worth your consideration if you're heading to Augusta. So let's head on over to property number two. All right, I'm here at our second property on the home tour. And as you could probably hear, it's on like a main road. Having said that, the entrance to the neighborhood is actually right down there on the left. So the driveway and the entrance to your double garage, your two car garage is in the neighborhood. This, is, uh, this neighborhood's called Almond Place and there's an east and a west and that's a really nice neighborhood, I love it. So uh, on this road, what you'll see is a bunch of these old, large, uh, estate type custom homes from the 50s and 60s. This is no different. This was built in 1968. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 3,300 square feet. So it's a big home, even though it's only got three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. There's a lot of extra and other rooms that you could convert or use for other things. Um, we're in the same general vicinity of the, the last home we showed you on the tour. And so we're maybe three miles from the Masters, from the Augusta National. But the inside of the home has, you know, original hardwoods. It was actually built and still and is now being sold by the original owner. So I'm going to walk down here, kind of show you a little bit more uh, because I love this neighborhood. Um, all of the homes were built you know, in that, in those sixties, but they're like large estate type homes. They've all been really well manicured uh, and taken care of. And uh, this neighborhood looks like a million dollars, looks like million dollar homes. And uh, some of them are, not all of them, some of them. So at 590, there's still a ton of room to add value to this particular property. As you can see behind me, there's some brand new or newer custom homes right across the street. And uh, this is Walton Way. And listen, if you know Augusta, like Walton Way is historic. Uh, that along with like Washington Road and Broad Street downtown. But you can just look at this mature, nice, huge trees. I, I love uh, turning an old home into a new home. And so, it's a quiet neighborhood it's really peaceful once you get off of that main road and again the this property has it's almost an acre that's one thing that's uh factored into the price is that you know a lot of the homes you look at they got three tenths four tenths maybe uh a fraction of an acre there's nine tenths it's almost a full acre 3300 square feet uh updated nicely there's still room to you know, like redo the kitchens and the bathrooms and things of that nature but lots of woodwork lots of detail really nice property and a great location one of the things that drives the property values uh, uh here in the the near proximity to the masters and to the augusta national is the fact that you can rent a lot of them out for the week for insane amounts of money i mean some people pay their entire mortgage for the entire year just for renting their home out for one week. So they'll rent them out for master's week and then take off and go to the beach with their family for a week. And then they'll come back and they'll have their mortgage paid for the entire year. Worst case, they'll have a really great uh, beach vacation that's been paid for by you know the visitors for the tournaments because people from all over the world come to that tournament. And so up and down Walton Way, close proximity again to Wheeler Road, to I-20, to the Augusta National, to downtown. Location's very central, it's great, and uh, I think this home just has a ton of potential. So again, listed at 390, and uh, if not this one, there's something like this to be found. So if this is in your budget, uh, this is an area that you might wanna consider. If you want something newer, if you're looking newer, there's some of that here, uh, but newer and uh, more affordable in terms of price per foot, then you probably wanna look in somewhere like Evans or Martinez or uh, Grovetown. There's tons of new construction in Grovetown. Augusta's very much uh, old school in that nature, So, uh, but still some beautiful homes. 
let's go check out your next house. All right, well, this is our third stop, but we're actually gonna do a couple of different properties here in this little area. It's called Somerville. It's right off, <clears throat> excuse me, it's right off of Walton Way. Uh, this particular property right behind me was built in uh, 1983. It's 2,700 square feet approximately, three bedroom, three bath, and it's listed at $400,000. So uh, in this area, you'll get you know some uh, a lot of homes built in literally the 1800s, and uh, and then <clears throat> then you'll get some built from obviously then all the way to currently. So I'm going to stop by two new construction sites and kind of show you what that would look like. Uh, but this one is right at 400,000. We are right next door, and I haven't talked about this a lot yet, but we're um, right next door to uh, Augusta University, and it merged a couple of years ago with the Medical College of Georgia. And so there's a really uh, a thriving medical school community, healthcare community in and around Augusta. So that makes up a lot of uh, the, the population that lives and rents in the Augusta area is that healthcare community, whether they're in school or have graduated and sticking around to one of the many, many great medical facilities we have here in Augusta, or they could be students over at Augusta University. If you're um, relocating for maybe Fort Gordon, you're probably gonna live either in uh, South Augusta, Hepzibah, or mostly, mostly Grovetown, Evans, maybe some Martinez. Uh, and then if you're here for like the nuclear plant, that's over across the border in South Carolina, so maybe Aiken or North Augusta. And so it really depends on your employer and your appetite for a commute. But uh, this is a charming little street. This is called Sum Summerhill Lane, and we're in the Somerville area right off of Walton Way in uh, close to downtown Augusta, maybe just a couple of miles down. But a great little house, and let me show you a couple others right around the corner. All right, I'm here in a really interesting property. So a builder has managed to grab uh, this land right here. It's down the street from Augusta University. Uh, it's in the Somerville area, right next to the Partridge Inn uh, here locally. We call that the PI. It's a boutique hotel, great restaurant, very popular on Masters Week and all year long. Uh, but this builder, there's about 12 lots. This one house has been completely finished. It's done and sold. This one will be about 2,500 square feet and listed at 600,000, all high-end finishes. This one's gonna be about 3,000 uh, square feet and listed at 650,000, but that's just over like $200 a foot. So you're talking 210, $220 a foot, which is a great value. But there's lots of green space and there's even like a little community area over here uh, and it's tucked back in a great location so if you're you know finishing up med school or you're at Augusta University or you're uh, or you're moving to the area to work in healthcare, or you you need to be in this Augusta downtown West Augusta kind of area uh, this is a really great option obviously you can give me a call shoot me a text send me an email schedule a zoom be happy to help you make a move but you're gonna have to act quick because there's only 12 available and one of them is already gone Let's get on to the next location. Okay, I'm here at our last stop in Somerville, and this is an interesting property. So you saw the 1980s build that was right at uh, $400,000, and now uh, then we showed you two in the 600s that were brand new. This particular property was built in 1931. So the main house has uh, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, uh, built in 1931, about 3,000 square feet. On the other side in the backyard, there's a cottage, and it's right at just under an acre, so the cottage uh, is just under 1,000 square feet, one bedroom, one bath, um, but again, you know, you see the 80s home, the new construction. Here we have 1931, it's almost 100 years old, and so the property, you know, there's room for improvement in the property and the home itself, but if you're looking for this kind of home, it's listed at $886,000 and would be a very, very interesting project and ultimately a fabulous property. By the way, over here we got a, some kids, you wanna say hey? hey? Kids riding skateboards, playground, tennis court, all the thing you'd want in a great neighborhood. Wow, are you in for a treat? Um, we're here at the last property on our tour. It is not this one, it's behind you. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it here in a second. But um, this is that almond place, that same neighborhood that we were at in property number two. And I just wanted to give you an idea of the neighborhood itself. Look how huge, how wide these streets are, how gorgeous these properties and these homes are. Uh, they're all unique. You know, each one looks a little different and they're all impeccably maintained. Um, they look fabulous, but this is the property that we're talking about. Um, now, th well, this neighborhood, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, was built in the 60s, 
This property was uh, custom built in 2005. So they bought a house, they knocked it down, they rebuilt this custom home in 2005. And it has all the modern conveniences and amenities that you would expect from 2005. I love the copper metal roof in the front. I love the columns, the brick, everything about it. But when you get inside, there's heavy crown molding. Uh, there's oak floors, high-end appliances, huge kitchen island, open concept, you know, his and her vanities, all of the windows and the HVAC systems and all the systems are more efficient, like everything about this home. So it's a $985,000. It's 4,758 square feet, four bedrooms, five bathrooms. Rooms. That puts it at about $208 a foot, and uh, that is uh, obviously on the high end for all of Augusta. Like the low, the bottom of the barrel, the low end is like 11, 111 a foot. All that mid tier is about 150, and here we're at 208. So high end custom home beautiful inside and out uh, phenomenal neighborhood uh, again we're in almond place we're just uh, right down the road this for sure has master's rental potential if that's something that you wanted to do and uh, just a, a fabulous house one of my favorite ones that i've seen here in augusta in a while let's uh head on over this was the last one and check out that market report all right i am uh, here in downtown augusta again for our market recap at this uh just really uh, awesome coffee shop called Eubora and uh, uh, I really like the vibe in here. I like the ambiance and the fixtures and the decor, the design. They've done a really great job. So if you're down here, you should check it out. I'm going to stop by to do that market report. Uh, in addition to giving you just some basic real estate uh, market data, I want to give you um, some context uh, and some maybe color around the city and the different areas. Uh, based on that tour and so um, we were mostly in what I what we call West Augusta it's around that like between I-20 down Wheeler Road which comes down hits Walton Way and Walton Way comes down into downtown Augusta if you stayed on I-20 you would go into South Carolina right before you get to South Carolina there's actually it's called Riverwatch Parkway and that dumps into Augusta too so Augusta really bumps up against the Savannah River and across the river is North Augusta. And that's where I'm at is this downtown area. All the houses we looked at were considered West Augusta. And then um, I-20 West, you'll run, you'll hit, uh, Martinez is a little Northwest, Evans is a little past that. Grovetown is um, kind of directly West, not Northwest. And then Hepzibah, is south and South Augusta is down towards Hepzibah. So if you're uh, gonna work around Fort Gordon uh, or you're relocating there, you might uh, check out the Grovetown, Evans, Martinez, Hepzibah area. Maybe even down here if you're just really into this vibe and you want a little bit of a commute. Um, if you're just looking for great suburban family life uh, and that kind of like away from the hustle and bustle, well then definitely like a Martinez Evans, Grovetown, you're going to want to look at those areas. Um, Evan, and we have blogs and um, cost of living and pros and cons and video map tours we're releasing on all these areas. So if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can keep you up to date on all of that. Um, but this downtown area is really uh, going through a revitalization. Um, years ago no one would no one would come down here um, but but now you have like bars restaurants there's nightlife if you're gonna go out if you want to go out clubbing and stay out all night get into some trouble you can definitely do it down here uh, but during the day it's also now as you can see there's tons of people more people down here than I've ever seen before and it's right up against the Savannah River so there's a huge canal and a river walk and bridges is beautiful uh, right out there and there's hotels down here and commerce going on and so that this that's the downtown area and then kind of between West Augusta and downtown right off of uh, uh, between Wheeler Road and Riverwatch Parkway I was talking about is Washington Road off of I-20 and Washington Road runs right by the Augusta National and uh, the world famous uh, golf tournament, the Masters. And so the properties in and around there are a little different. They're similar as to the properties that were on the tour, but the real big draw in that area 
is the national, is the master. So there's plenty of people who just live there and live their lives, but there's a lot of business and commerce. Uh, those uh, corporate hospitality companies are buying up homes and turning them into corporate hospitality suites. And there's a lot of uh, master's rentals going on in that area, if that's something that you're interested in. And so this downtown kind of West Augusta area would be really good for like people going to the uh, to Augusta University, uh, whether you're a student there or working there, um, especially if you're in healthcare, whether you're going to the medical school or whether you've just graduated and you want to kind of stay in this. There's healthcare all over Augusta, but there's a lot of that going on down here. So, you know, maybe you're decided after you graduated that you're going to stick around. And so that would be a great area is all the stuff on the tour. And then the more affordable homes are are going to be in that South Augusta and then even around here in downtown you're going to find a lot cheaper homes here uh, versus like those really hot areas like the like around the Masters or even those those suburbs which have some affordable homes in them too but you can see those on the different vlogs uh, as it relates to Augusta itself, there's two, the population of you know Augusta, there's 200,000, but then you have a couple hundred thousand in the mate, we call it the CSRA, which is North Augusta, Aiken, Augusta, Evans, Martinez, Grove Town, all of that. Uh, it's probably closer to half a million or more, uh, but here about 200,000 in Augusta itself. Um, the uh, uh, median household income is around $70,000 uh, as well, and then uh, the uh, median home value, I think I shared, was 185, and so that's just a little bit uh, of the uh, demographics and economics. It's a very diverse uh, place. Augusta is uh, people from all walks of life, and then um, as it relates to real estate specifically, uh, here in Augusta, there is, and I made some notes, uh, 211 properties on the market now that are available for purchase. In the last 30 days, 158 properties have sold, which means there's about you know a month and a half of inventory. Anything under six months is still a seller's market, uh, and the market is still hot here, but not as hot as it was a few months ago. We're in October, in the fall, and so uh, the lowest property to sell in Augusta was $147,000. The most expensive uh, in the last month was $2.7 million, so a big range. I told you it's a lot of diversity uh, economically, so you've got from $147,000, uh, no, I'm sorry, not $147,000, $14,000. $14,000. Now that may have been a plot of land, but it could have been a single family home. So from 14,000 to 2.7 million. So a big wide uh, range there. The median being 185,000, $111 a foot. Although we, we, you saw plenty of them on the tour for 140, 150, 200 and more. New construct, listen, new construction, uh, especially high end for 200 to $250 a foot is amazing. Uh, you go over to like Atlanta and their suburbs and it could be three, four, five hundred dollars a foot. And so to so have a really nice new custom home for two hundred and twenty dollars a foot is, a, is extremely great value. And um, and, and, a, and a, a regular home, a resale for one hundred and fifty is great. And so um, days on market. Thank you very much. Look at that. Even great service as well. Uh, I'm having a dirty iced chai tea latte, which Mm, yummy. Uh, so days on market is about 51. So that means that you know most properties, if listed uh, in line with the market, take about a month to two months to sell, uh, which was a little bit surprising to me uh, here. Uh, it's a little bit takes a little bit longer here than than it does in some of the su suburbs. But I'd say that's probably also due to the list price and the marketing and the uh, whatever the realtor. Uh, or the seller and their needs because uh, when priced right, things don't sit very long uh, here in Augusta or anywhere else. So uh, that's what's going on in Augusta as it relates to the real estate market, to the surrounding areas, to the vibe here in downtown. We talked about, you know, if you're in the medical community or in and around the Augusta National in, in, in this area, it might be good, but maybe if you're coming for Fort Gordon or for the school a little bit further west in Fort Gordon, maybe even over to one of the suburbs. But uh, there's something for everyone, and uh, we're here to serve. If you live in Augusta or you're from Augusta like me, uh, drop a comment. 
below even if you don't live here anymore and if you have any feedback we welcome feedback we're here to provide value to our audience and hopefully um, you know serve them so that they can gather as much information as they need to make this transition we appreciate all of our subscribers uh, as well if you haven't already then subscribe uh, all of our clients past present and future we love you and uh, hopefully uh, we can be a resource for you. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, uh, the team and I would love to help. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Augusta. And until the next time, hopefully uh, maybe see you around town somewhere. See you on the next episode.